Good morning everybody, welcome to a new weekly video. We only need the two of us together. I need only you in this crazy world. Cause we got love, love. I need only you here with me. So this is the final week in September, <laughs> which means one, the year's gone by so quickly, and two, we have to decide this week definitely if we want to stay here or move back in with my mum and dad. We're swaying towards move back in with my mum and dad just because of how much money we could save. Yeah, I think it's worked out something like we can save £500 each, each month, just not living here with like me then having to drive my car, giving some money to my mum and dad and buying food and things. I think it's 500 pound that would save each. So yeah, that's a plus side to moving back in. <laughs> but also then we're losing our house that we love and um, yeah, our independence and all of that. But also we're renting. There's nothing wrong with renting. You could rent your entire life if you wanted to. We just want to own a house to do our own thing and we want a house like all of the rentals around here that are actual houses are more expensive than this and we don't want to spend more than this so I'd rather than buy a house and be paying mortgage payments of this if that makes sense <laughs> um so yeah but anyway today i have this morning cleaned the kitchen because we have our inspection on monday today saturday i'm working all day tomorrow so i've cleaned the kitchen tidied up the living room and my dad's here he's helping me tidy up the garden i'll show you look at that it's so much neater we're gonna take this big sunflower out and stuff but already this looks way neater i am gonna go and help him sorry but i have been putting washing on and cleaning the kitchen and stuff so <laughs> i'm gonna go down and help him in a second but i'm just trying to think if there's anything else i need to do i need to tidy up in here because as well, if we're thinking of moving out, then in the next four or five weeks, we're gonna have to decide what furniture we wanna keep, what we wanna put in storage, what clothes we wanna keep, what we wanna get rid of, what like random little bits that we wanna keep and get rid of. So yeah, need to tidy up to do that. But it's fun and it's sad, but it's also like, I'm, it's not bad living with my parents. Like we live in a bungalow, um, we'd have our own, like space, we can do what we want. We're gonna work in the night time and they work in the daytime, so basically just cross anyway. Um, and yeah, save money. <laughs> you can tell that I am very indecisive about it, but in the long run, it will serve us better. And we have more money, we can go to like Disneyland Paris and stuff while we're still living with them and not have to worry about paying rent while we're away and things like that, so yeah, hopefully. <laughs> No house means more adventures, but we'll see. This is my new thing. I don't know if you noticed, but I do this a lot. <laughs> there we are. Very neat and tidy now. Well, this bit's still a bit wild, but never mind. The lavender's all come back up nicely. It's made it nice and upward, but I think that's all the vines doing that. I think all the vines are tangled in so much, but never mind. I'm going to do a bit of a sweep. Oh, so it's half one now. We, fit, we started at half past ten. Oh, there's Tom's mask. Um, we started at half ten, now half one. We're just going to go put all of the pampas grass in the tip because we don't want to put it in the green bin because it's sharp and I don't want Karen to hurt herself. Here we are, look at this. We're stripped all down here, all there, cut that tree down, all of this is gone. Oh, Dad left his brush. Oh, never mind. Chopped all that down. This tree is now just a tree and not a mix of lots of things. Chopped all this down and chopped all this down. And 
there's no garden waste to be seen look how cute these are I'm really happy I bought this it's all the way up to here now it's mad this one needs to grow a bit but it's also slowly dying as well so I'm not really too sure I'm just going to give it a water because they're the only things I want to keep going everything else is slowly dying now because it's becoming autumn but there you go yay I'm going to put that around the corner as in around the corner of there and dad can come get it when he wants it okay I'm back home I have now washed my hair got in my comfies because everything I'm doing now involves sitting down so I am not putting any more jeans on um, but you can join me over here by the DVD and book cabinet <laughs> um, so whether we're moving out or not I have been meaning to go through all of my like keeping all of my o-ring sleeved DVDs and I want to transfer all my pixels into blu-rays and eventually then transfer my DVDs into blu-rays um, as in my Disney classics into blu-rays but I'm starting with Pixar because there's less of them um, keeping all of those, keeping all of my Studio Ghibli, keeping all of my live action uh, sleeved Disney like live action DVDs, uh, keeping all of those so up there is staying down here I have some really like essentially my childhood collection of DVDs <laughs> and I've been meaning to go through them because we just don't watch them for one but I want to keep the ones that are like classics but then the other ones can just go like I can get rid of those or some that are tatty like I really want to keep Avatar but the sleeves a bit so but I could probably just keep the DVD because the DVD's in good condition so yeah keeping that but I just thought you could come through with me and or go through them with me and help me decide what to keep so <laughs> keeping Avatar I won't just tell you every single one because this is the extent but I will just go through like the ones that I'm definitely keeping so definitely keeping the Bridget Jones <laughs> I want to get all of them um, because they're just a, like, I love watching them I definitely just watch the films every year so I'll be keeping that um, for some reason I've got Despicable Me and Despicable Me too. I'm not really too sure why or when I bought them but I have them so I think I'm gonna get rid of those and I can't decide whether to get rid of Dear John because this is one of the first DVDs I ever bought and I also have just recently picked up the book <laughs> so I can't decide whether to keep it or not but I also haven't watched it in ages so maybe I'll watch it and then get rid of it <laughs> I also can't decide if I want to keep because we have Disney Plus now so do I want to keep my like Cars 2 and my Lion King 3. Do I need them? I don't know because they've not got sleeves, they're not part of the classics, they're not numbered. Um, but do I want to get rid of them? I don't know. Uh, uh, this was my first favourite DVD but it's going, I'm really sorry, I'm never going to watch it so it's going to CEX. <laughs> I've got my Luca bag. I'm gonna fill it up with all the ones so they're a definite go. <laughs> Obviously keeping the classics of Dirty Dancing, Four Weddings and a Funeral, Fame, let's see what else, Jack Frost, Christmas, Polar Express, Christmas, The Holiday, Christmas. They're all staying and the good old classic autumnal haunted match and hoax pictures. They're all staying, do not worry. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna say goodbye as well, sadly to my four Harry Potter DVDs. I love them. My dad bought me this box set of these four when these four were the only four that had come out. So, yeah. But I now have, where are you, this bad boy. My mum and dad also bought me this, so it's okay. The fact that I'm getting rid of these from my dad, he bought me this, so it's fine. This is the uh, 16 DVD set of the Complete 8 series. So what's the other two? Complete 8 part documentary series of creating the Wizarding World. 16 discs, but there's only 8 films. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these. I know I love them. Lion King 3. Lilo and Stitch 2. I do love them, but they're all on Disney Plus now, and Disney Plus aren't going to get rid of them, so there's no point. 
I know one day we might not have Disney Plus, but by that time, uh, we probably won't be watching DVDs. <laughs> Ferdinand, me and Tom bought from Morrison's for five pounds because we watched it on the plane on the way back from Florida and never finished it. So we bought it, but we don't need that anymore. <laughs> Oh, and our stars. What do I do, guys? Do I keep it or do I get rid of it? Oh, exclusive wristband. I remember getting that. I think I still do have it somewhere. Anyone else got that? Anyone else buy the DVD? <laughs> Does anyone else who still loves this? Ultraviolet. Um, it's a service that I think it's Universal. Oh, Sony. Maybe it's Sony and Universal. Uh, some DVDs had this, and then you'd put in the code that's inside the DVD, and you'd be able to watch it um, on your computer for free. Like, because you've bought the DVD, and you can put it on your computer and it'll stay on ultraviolet and you can just watch it. Um, but they don't do that anymore. Yeah, you could watch your movie on a broad range of devices and share it with up to five friends or family members. Because you've bought the DVD. But they don't do that anymore. Sad times. Kubo, I love Kubo. I also have Fantastic Beasts, I need to buy the second one. Keeping. I know I never watch them on the DVD again. But I've got to keep them. My childhood. <laughs> I've also still never seen this. Maybe that'll be one that we watch at Halloween. I know number two has come out now, so maybe we'll have to watch that. I need to buy the other ones. I need to buy two and three of House Train Your Dragon because it is my favourite non-Disney um, animated franchise. Apart from I used to love Ice Age, <laughs> but everyone loves Ice Age gotta keep this. I think there's a number five but I've not watched it or got it. Also Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass is awesome and Into the Woods. Some people really dislike Into the Woods. Let me know what you guys think. Now I'm gonna create a little like seasonal section. Would you put Edward Scissorhands in Halloween section or just in general DVDs? I don't know. I'm gonna put it in general DVDs right now because I'd watch it any time of year but we'll see. And my favourite underrated Christmas film, Rise of the Guardians. Favourite, favourite. Have to watch it every year. As well as Arthur Christmas. Maze Runner, another amazing series. Definitely read it if you have not already. Outnumbered the box set. I'm sorry I don't need you because you are on BBC iPlayer now. But my mum and dad bought me this because I was obsessed with it as a teen. Like every time it was on TV, we were like, we have to be at home to watch Outnumbered. <laughs> Gonna keep this bad boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, epic film. Don't watch if you're under 18, but, well, under 15, sorry. <laughs> Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. Cracker. I've also got the Gavin and Stacey box set, which I will keep even though it is on, um, on BBC iPlayer, but never mind. I also have the Sex and the City box set, <laughs> and I also have Tom's Tom's um, Avatar collection. We do love Avatar. And I also bought this for Tom for our first Christmas. I bought him this. This is the first present I ever bought him. And it's the Steelbook deluxe copy of Pokemon 1, 2 and 3. Oh, so I've made us some pork chops for dinner. Tom's home from work now. <laughs> we had this amazing pork chop on the cruise and it came with tomato risotto like I've just been doing the vlog so it's reminded me so we're having pork chops for dinner and now I want to try and make tomato risotto that What's... pork was I think a specific cut of pork though mm. like we're not yeah. going to be able to do that unless we get the same kind of it same said, grade of pork it just said pork chop and I don't think it has to be with pork you could have tomato risotto with like chicken I think that pork be... was real good though. I know, I'm hoping this one's good. Pork chop, like I either get really good or like a bit dry. So I'm hoping this one's good. That pork that we had, that was one of my best meals that I ever had. Yeah, that one and the steak at Lumiere's. Can't remember the steak. I might be thinking of the steak, actually. The steak at Lumiere's was like like medium rare. It was a bit pink in the middle. Oh, I might then... mean that then. That was what was really good. And then the pork chop at Lumiere's was with the, uh, the pork chop at... Animator's palette was with the tomato risotto. I can't remember, but I think the risotto was real good. The risotto was good. I think it's because we hardly ever have risotto, so it's something new, and our uh, taste palettes were like, whoa, what's this? It was nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
you dare me to open this? Make it will blow away. Look, he passes the camera. Think it it work. The river again. Yeah. What? We did time. Oh no. I woke up. <laughs> um. Well, I was awake anyway, but I woke up more because I heard school kids because obviously the You can hear them screaming. I just heard the school kids going, because it got heavier. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, no walk for us today. I literally said last night, should we go for a walk if it's nice weather? <laughs> yeah. Mm. And look at that silly British weather. Mm. An hour later, sunshine. Wait, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we've not, we've really literally not done anything all day. We've been sat here on the computer. We had a guy, a lady come around to inspect our house, but that was about it. A big spider just crawled into the sofa. I, it was massive, <laughs> I could see in the corner it's, of my it was, it was like this. It was like this. But it was like, standy up legs. Why have you crossed on your foot? <laughs> What if I squish him? I don't know where he is, Tom. He's scaring me. He's probably gone around the corner. He could have. Oh, there he is. Which is just under. Oh, I see him. He's all curled up. He's scared. It's like, what's happening? The, the ceiling's moving. He's got, like, curly up legs. I won't zoom in in case anyone's scared of spiders. <laughs> it's hot. Oh, just straight over the top. No. Ah. You don't. <laughs> Out the window. You dare me to look? You dare to see anything? I don't want to. Did he go? I hope so. Okay. Hope <laughs> That's so. the worst thing. It's like making sure it's gone. Oh, scary. Oh, Daniel, Where did he come from? From out, because our windows are probably in there. Yeah, but how'd they get in here? If you watch Spider Man, <laughs> we've been watching California vlogs, haven't we? The new Spider Man bit in uh, Avengers Campus. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Gosh, now that all that entertainment's over, <laughs> today was meant to be our first full day in Walt Disney World which is sad so we spent the whole day just watching vlogs and like chilling out we tidied up the house and like I said we had the inspection not an inspection as in like something wrong with the house but just the inspection of the lady came around to make sure we were happy living here and like everything here was good we hadn't ruined it like all the fire alarms were up to date and like different things like that you have it once a year when you're renting so yeah we had that today um we haven't done anything else. Nothing. <laughs> um, we have, however, planned to do something on Thursday, which I can't decide whether to put in this vlog or in the next one. I can't decide. Maybe it's going in the next one. I'll tell you now what it is, but it's going to go in the next one because it is on Thursday and obviously the vlogs go out Friday morning. So, yeah. We have booked to go and see The Lion King down in London. We couldn't decide between Lion King and Frozen, but it just happened that Lion King had seats on the day that we needed, um, and Frozen didn't. So yeah, we're going to go see Lion King on Thursday. Um, we're just going down for the day. We're getting a train back at 11 o'clock, or half 11, I can't remember, um, and a train down at 10 o'clock. So yeah, just a full on day in London. But excited, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be the, the vlog after this one because obviously this is going to go out on Friday morning and we're there till 11 o'clock on Thursday evening, so... Yeah. Yeah, but we're excited. Tomorrow I'm going to make some more fudge because Tom's got work and I'm going to use some after eights that um, melted and stuck all together from work. So I'm going to do some normal fudge and some after eight fudge, which I think will be fun. Ooh, uh. Ooh, uh. <laughs> um, And yeah, just essentially sort out the house a bit more. 
tired yet really like we still haven't decided what we want to do about moving i need to ring the house the um one of the estate agents around here tomorrow because the house i want to see and i've emailed them and they haven't replied so i'm going to ring them up um but yeah not too much this week is just chill because we're meant to be in florida we've not got too many plans so oh, wow. some some well deserved home time i guess yeah yeah, but you've got another Halo demo like thing this weekend, yeah. haven't you? So that's good. Yeah. That I get to do that if I want to. Yeah, and I'm just writing some blog posts about the cruise. I realise I haven't written any blog posts in a while, so I might get some lined up over the, in these next two weeks that we're at home. Um, like get a load done because I normally post on a Monday, so or I used to post on a Monday, so I could get a good few written. In this time because i've realized that i don't use my um free time very well i procrastinate a lot <laughs> we both procrastinate a lot yeah <laughs> we'll probably just chill out now and then head to bed so we'll see you tomorrow bye night night <laughs>
So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, I am sat watching Modern Family and Netflix have just added season 9 on there now. So yay, there's season 10 which came out this year, which is only on Now TV. But they have season 9 on here now, which is great. So yeah, some more binging for me. But I am going to end this video here because we are off to London tomorrow. So this will be up Friday for you guys. So then Monday will be the third cruise vlog which I'm excited for you to see because it's that evening at Rapunzel's which was so nice and it's our last full day so yeah um but yeah so you've got that and then Wednesday will be our day out in London so woohoo fingers crossed we get a lot done uh we want to go to the Natural History Museum and see the dinosaurs and we have obviously got our tickets booked for Lion King in the evening so that'll be really fun. Neither of us have seen it before, so that's why we're going to see it. It was either that or Frozen, but Frozen didn't have any tickets. So, yeah, we're going to go see Lion King, which is fun either way, and we're excited to go. Um, but yeah, so that will be Wednesday's video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already.